Hello everyone and welcome to the Op-Ed. I'm your host Evan O'Neill. Today we're going to be talking about the need for new faces in American politics. During his campaign trail in 2015 and 2016, Donald Trump established the Make America Great Again movement. The idea behind the MAGA movement is to put nationalist American identity and interest ahead of a globalized approach to American politics. At the current junction, I think that a nationalist movement such as Make America Great Again is still in development. There's really only been one talking head to represent that, and it's been on the shoulders of Republican President Donald Trump. The idea is bigger than the Republican Party and needs to break away from the Republican Party. To break into the bigger picture of what I mean, the American political spectrum is making new benchmarks on both extremes. The left is leaning fur further left and the right is leaning further right. The time of neoliberalism and neoconservatism is waning as younger, less traditional generations of politicians and voters take control of the country. New, movement, new movements require new parties and new faces to lead those parties. As further left-leaning Democrats, and such as Sanders and Cortez, come into popularity, we see a shift in liberal values from neoliberalism into something further from the spectrum center. This is representative of a new left that is in development. Civil rights are leading popularity contests as well as universal health care. People want to be taken care of. In contrast, Trump represents a right-leaning movement of conservatism that breaks away from neoconservatism. While he has plenty of neocon support, there are still never Trumpers and Christian voters who do not identify with his approach to conservatism. Some people call it the alt-right. To me, the alt-right is more steeped in protecting national sovereignty, identity, and labor. To boil this down to the point, there will be an ideological vacuum after Trump leaves. Surely Republican candidates for office will continue to represent older neoconservative ideas, while the Democrats will probably push an older neoliberal with progressive left tactics to appeal for the kiddos. I think it's important right now to point out that a few, amongst a slew of reasons why Hillary Clinton lost in 2016 was that she still represented old money and old politics. She wasn't as radical of an idea as like Bernie Sanders or Donald Trump. So what do we do? Well, first of all, we've got to communicate better. When we can communicate effectively and clearly with our neighbors, we can present ideas that aren't so scary. I feel that far too many people are scared of something uh, completely different than what they believe, or at least they overreact to it. Next, we have to offer support for politicians that represent what we value. We all value something. Most of us have more in common than we tend to acknowledge, and if you really compare politicians against each other, they tend to use similar platforms or debating points. You've heard of voting for the lesser of two evils. We say that because politicians tend to be corrupt, and we're supposed to pick the more beneficial bastard and hope it doesn't bite our backs. It's important to vote in our society and to be realistic about how we vote. You're probably not going to vote for a politician who will shift the paradigm anytime soon. It's more likely that we can get away with old ideas, get away from old ideas slowly and tactfully rather than electing the next great leader who will unite all of us under one cause and, I don't know, solve world peace. And most importantly, we need to make it known what, that we want to break from tired old politics. We want honest representatives of our communities and our ideas. You know, there's probably no perfect scandal-free politician out there. Moving on, we need to make it known what our ideas are. Reach out. Write to your congressman or person. Write to your representatives. It's important to realize that the right is less religious than before and the left is more progressive than before. So it's time to break away from Democrat and Republican parties and establish new policies that represent what we value. Well, that's about it. Thanks. This has been a Two Guys production.